Hey guys, welcome to my series of Kim. Kim is the ship's name and this is version 9, YouTube version 9. You can check out all the versions where I talk about the modeling and learning um, experience of mine. Uh, the model file name down below in the left hand corner, Blender file Kim 50 modeling is the more accurate uh, version if you want, because every time when I change the model drastically, or when I'm not so sure uh, with the change I, I'm going to make, I create a new uh, Blender save file and so I'm safe basically and uh, I also create uh, a new version. I hope you understand what I mean. Anyway, so today we're gonna talk about the outside of the ship a little bit and the inside of the ship. I'm gonna be a little bit shallow because if I go try to explain everything it's really messed up so a little bit casual so first of all the major changes i made is um, when we take a look is this the cockpit the side and uh, basically i hope you know what i'm talking about the bump effect the bump effect is basically the two um it's like a two i would describe it as a 2d image which gives the impression of depth which looks like a 3D uh, uh, object, but it's based actually two-dimensional. Um, believe it's um, easier, it saves some performance in, in 3D engines. Anyway, doesn't matter actually. So uh, basically what I did is I replaced the procedural generated uh, texture, not everywhere, but uh, most of the procedure, uh, most of the texture most of the procedural generated bump texture I replaced with a bump texture I created in another blender scene and the most I've learned and I'm still learning it is basically to control to get more control over the bump effect texturing yeah basically well that's what what it is um, so although this is not a procedure generated uh, bump effect uh, anymore it's still a little bit of random but I also learned and we're gonna address this later there is a room in the ship where I actually learned how to completely control uh, where a bump effect is going to be and where not so that's cool but I also like the randomness a little bit because it allows you to see stuff which you haven't imagined. Which you haven't imagined. Uh, anyway, hope the English makes sense uh, to you. So, this I changed and that's, good. that's great because it gave me a performance boost. So if we activate, we switch to the other scene because you just see a little bit more. So if we activate the animation, you can see we are you know, a ship is flying through the universe, uh, stars are passing by because we are obviously super fast. Um, the performance is pretty good, pretty great. If I turn, no, this one here on, we have 30 FPS, probably more. Uh, it's limited to 30 FPS. Um, and um, that's the incredible thing to me. So I really start to believe, again, I'm not 100% sure because I'm still learning, but it makes sense to me that the ship now looks more detailed and I have less problems with FPS drops since I used the uh, replace the procedural generated bump effect with an um, with an bump texture I made in the other scene so that's good and uh, I'm, I'm happy about that uh, because I really like to, to have a little bit of performance good this is an you know that I'm sure I'm gonna forget some things I changed and maybe I'm gonna re uh, talk up about this anyway let's just continue um, so we're gonna change switch to uh, the brighter scene so if you watch this at night be prepared for a bright flash good hope you were prepared so this is how the texture looks the, the texture and the bump effect uh, not perfect but uh, the thing is you know this is something i'm gonna uh that's my plan at least uh, when i'm happy with the ships uh, completely 
uh, when I'm happy with the model of the ship, I'm gonna go ahead and fix uh, little things like, for example, you know, you see that it doesn't make any sense that, you know, the texturing here is weird. Here's a glitch too. It's not, basically it's pretty, from my uh, view, it's pretty clean, the whole thing. I can show you this actually. So when, you know, it's not too bad. That's also why I the, the I, I put the ship into a, a I created a showroom where the ship is basically um, rotating. Although actually the ship does not rotate, doesn't matter. Um, long story short, the Eve render with a lot of light effects and such did not take so long. I believe between one and two hours. I was in the kitchen at the, at the time, um, and I believe it has to do with um, it's not that high poly. You know, so it, 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 it's good to have good performance because I believe it saves you some render time too. I think that would make sense. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is something, you know, it looks nice and so on. Uh, I have also different uh, texture options. I'm going to hold on the animation here. So basically what I found sometimes do this here is my main texture it includes the bump effect and the texture itself, the inside and the outside of the ship. Uh, but sometimes when I change something and when I want to experiment, I'm just going to copy the whole segment. And let's call this texture, main texture option one, main texture option two would be that one, and so on. Um, it allows you to experiment, you know, you copy the whole segment basically, you know, in this case, let's just do it with a shift D, duplicate the whole thing and then you can change certain stuff and if you make a mistake you can quickly go back you know that's that's a nice idea i thought uh probably not the first guy who came up with that anyway so if we activate option two you can see we get the yellow black thing this reminds me strongly on um, uh, transformers one i only remember transformers one because this looks like the bumblebee um, it just happened to be, but it reminds me strongly on that. And I love the Bumblebee car in Transformers 1. I don't care about the other Transformers, not that I don't like them, I just... For some reason, you know, I lost the interest, uh, but the first one, I love it. And if you know what I'm talking about, when they presented the Bumblebee car in Transformers 1 the first time, that was just awesome. It was, the music was great, the, the car was great, the perspective was great. I really, really loved that. So I, I like this um, yellow black thing a lot. We can check out, this is how it looks in the universe. Um, you do not see it very well, but in the showroom it looked great. So it's also a little bit depending where you look at your stuff, you know. It yeah, has an effect. Something I need to uh, optimize when the ship model is uh, done. Next thing is, um, yeah, I, I changed a little bit the, you know, the front, the side, um, and I believe the whole, this thing is gone from the, uh, ah, yeah, this is also new, this thing here, this area, do you see that, the mouse? I hope so. And this is the back, not finished yet, obviously, but uh, at least it has a back. This is also new, and we have, I would call this commander bridge thing. What I like about this scene is, if you go back into the scene, we can actually see a seat. And the seat is a little bit highlighted with the light. So I like this a lot. So this is new, basically. Uh, you're gonna see the difference, uh, sorry, soon in the ship. Uh, and uh, I was thinking a long, long time because I wanted to connect certain corridors, certain rooms with other rooms. Um, and then this changes the overall shape of the ship. And the funny thing is I have shown this ship on my Let's Play channel. And one of my viewers, Gabriel, um, he said, uh, he asked me if I, if I had played the uh, um, System Shock 1 because it looks like these are parts of that. I don't know, I forgot to ask him which parts he means, but the ship actually looks like that. Like I I was thinking about this a little bit. It's a mixture of uh, being influenced uh, from the science fiction culture, movies, games, 
that's for sure. But also I remembered that when I was in kindergarten, I always built, um, in the, I believe it was in the kindergarten, ships like that a little bit. And the next thing is the coincidence. When I created, um, I'm going to switch again, the bridge, which we're going to take a look uh, in soon. When I created that bridge, I uh, struggled a lot in, with how to connect those stuff. So the middle way, I'm happy I, I discovered this uh, option somehow, um, is the best one because everything else looked just so weird. I tried, the challenge was basically um, that it looks good from the inside and from the outside. I keep saying that, but you can make it look nice from the outside. But then suddenly, you suddenly, if you just want to reach the bridge from the inside, the degree, it's 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 like a almost like a ninety degree. You have to to go upstairs like a ninety de degree, so it doesn't look good from the inside. Meaning, I had to make a l extremely long corridors uh, to avoid that the stairways is too. Uh, well, too weird. I don't. I don't. I lack of the English word right now. Too uh, too style in, in German. We say. Shall I look up this word and tell you what I mean? Let's do this together. Wait a second. I'm gonna check this with my phone quickly, guys. Um, too style. Uh, too steep. Ah, here we go. Too steep. So it was extremely steep from the inside. From the outside, it looked okay, but from the inside, it was too too steep. And so I experimented a lot and I came up with this idea um, in the middle, which I, I'm happy because this is, looks awesome. And um, then I also want to connect, uh, or basically you have two ways to reach the bridge. And this is already pretty good because I, I like this idea. So you go basically from the bridge, this uh, corridor down and uh, then you go to the to this way and you know you see how this is basically handled because i we don't have an elevator i would also like to an elevator problem is in blender an elevator you can only animate but not activate like with a button um maybe someday i'm gonna take a look a closer look with uh, at the um unreal engine so anyway, that, that, that was the challenge, um, having a bridge and um, connecting the bridge with two ways was basically a change. Took me a long, long time because it, you know, it just didn't look good. <laughs> and yeah, so the back is um, made, but it's a pretty early version. It's a f no, there are some details we need. Um, it looks a little bit too angular here and there, but uh, work in progress, obviously. Okay, let's go into the inside. Uh, let's switch to the scene again. Um, let's go into the inside of the ship. Uh, we have also some uh, volumetric lighting, obviously, and here is some light coming out. But I don't want to overdo it with the light since two reasons. First, it needs a lot of performance. Let's activate the thing here. And um, it's oh, oh, maybe also a little bit overdone, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because my coffee gets cold. Uh, so hold on. So. Okay, so I have more coffee. It's already cold to be honest, but uh, I don't mind. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna with the animation because I like the sound in the background. Was thinking maybe, you know, if I would shut up, just create an endless um, scene where the ship is just flying. Maybe I'm gonna create an ASMR flying through space animation because it's just it sounds to me actually at least relaxing. But because I keep talking, you know, you cannot hear that. Anyway, let's go into the uh, ship. Um, yeah, into the ship. So we have here the standard stuff. Um, here, this is animated a little bit. Uh, replace the video with that animation because I like the colors. Um, our pilot Walter is still managing the ship. 
the default cube is helping him I think and oh yeah you I think you can see that it compared to the other to Kim 8 uh, you see the the texture the bump effect uh, is used inside too because I have more performance overall right now it drops a little bit down but uh, I mean I'm also recording and uh, being a little bit surprised but ah, still okay it was worse um, so we have <laughs> yeah overall we have more performance um, so that's good I can feel this already when I when I move the camera and such I just wonder why this is ah it's only in this scene here huh okay okay well but still we have more performance overall uh, and we and we can use the bump effect uh, in here, which I think is great. Um, speaking of the performance, there are stuff I can, if I ever struggle, there is a lot to change. I can get rid of a lot of stuff, a lot of polygons. Um, although I try to be very clean um, in terms of not creating unnecessary polygons. Um, so I did a pretty good job from my perspective the first time where it's pretty clean and I, I have the control however in in terms of um, pushing the performance uh, or boosting the performance luckily there is a lot of things I could change um, you know what let me show you this it's always easier to show this stuff I'm gonna show you what I mean if I click on the ship on a hold animation uh, you see stuff like stuff like um, like here for example you know it's not really needed that we need so many uh, necessary and that we need so many vertexes so those stuff I can get rid of that maybe I can also decrease the numbers uh, of um, vertexes in here there are drastic more drastic examples or for instance here this is also something I can take a closer look you know maybe I could even just speaking of the performance replace this area here just with a texture because you know those details we we do not see anyways did I just messed up here something uh, probably I did anyway stuff like this um, like decreasing the amount of vertexes here and there uh, will boost our performance not on its own but in a combined with other stuff you know uh, optimizing getting rid of certain lights we don't need and so on combine those uh, stuff everything uh, this one is also a good example i can just get rid of this not gonna save here a few times you know let's just activate that and say uh, so we're gonna just up, uh, unwrap it quickly now it looks a little bit weird but the the idea is basically oh wait a second we're gonna just do it like selecting those guys uh, so i got a little bit rid of, of vertexes and you know the difference is not so big um this is a good way to save later on performance but not just that also the seats can i need to to make a low an sd version of the seats an SD version of the heads of water and getting rid of this thing here because it's not looking nice this is just a light uh, I have this since an early stage I still like it so I'll leave it for now but this is also something which I can get rid of and it uh, has an effect I checked it on the performance too um, so all the stuff you can you know keep in mind and uh, actually um, boost your performance later on but for what's going on in this scene I think you know from my perspective I'm very very happy about the performance I can run around create uh, record I read your comments video where I put comments of the let's play channel here and there and there and uh, the performance is still good okay that's about that so um, yeah major change basically replaced the inside main the main inside texture uh, and we can now use the bump effect not perfectly as you see but it's not too bad you know i mean that's how you learn stuff you cannot be perfect you cannot work perfect 
Um, here, this looks a little bit weird because uh, I cannot click on this wire. So this one here, we can just you know change this, change the surface to uh, flat, and it looks a little bit better. You know, this is also something I learned um, while modeling the ship Kim. I knew you could uh, change. Uh, the surface or in the object mode to smooth or to flat um, and I maybe have seen this option in the edit mode too but I did not realize that for sure because I struggled with this a lot anyway I realized we can always change um, certain areas in the edit mode make some areas smooth some areas flat and this is just incredibly good because you can it allows you to make stuff look like better <laughs> something like that anyway um yeah it's funny it's it's a simple thing in, in, in one, on the one hand but if you overlook it it, uh, it it has a major impact or effect or whatever you want to call that yeah here in this area this is a little bit something i'm going to hide this for now i'm not so sure what, what i do with that um, because you know we, we we have um basically a room but we don't do not see that do we see it from the outside maybe yeah we don't we have a room here we do not see the room from the inside or from the outside so the question is do we need that this kind of room anyway i'm leaving it for now because i had to i had an an alpha um texture means you could look through the the ground and this is a nice impression but again then you have performance issues maybe maybe not Okay, then we have the cubes here. I made them uh, glow like that a little bit uh, because you know what they could. When, I mean, they, they glow nicely. And uh, back then, when I created those guys, I showed this ship to my knee, and he liked the glowing cubes. So I thought, well, he is the young fellow. He knows what's in and what's not, and he likes it. And he also said, and that was very cool, he said the ship looks more, looks now more like a spaceship. Coming from him is very good because, you know, kids do not lie. They, they, they tell you the truth, except if you force them, obviously, then they start to lie. So that was a nice compliment and he wasn't even aware of that. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and he likes glowing stuff and Fortnite and, you know, all the stuff. Speaking of the seats here when we take a look again here we have like unnecessary performance issues if you want it's like you know when i create those stuff i'm uh, anyway you, you see i could get rid of certain areas here and uh, also here you know stuff like this or that i can decrease and if i do this on every object at the end yeah, or in the end of, the, of modeling I can get some performance out of the whole uh, scene. That's what I what I um, uh, mean. Yeah, this one here. Now we're gonna take a look. Uh, sometimes what I do is in between art. I call that, you know, on Twitter. Basically, I haven't even uh, sent this to anybody except my girlfriend, so no one has seen this so far. Um, depending on when you watch this, I mean, this might change but um, sometimes i do in between that means i'm gonna take out my blender stuff put it in make a screenshot and go into gimp photoshop and then i'm gonna do something with that and uh, that's also very fun to me um yeah we have here the what is this called the raw the pipe the pipe i believe yeah so next thing is um did i change here something a little bit maybe here the windows gone um security bot yeah if we take a closer look at the security bot um you know we can i mean he's not too bad actually in terms of performance uh but i believe 
yeah we can also here we can optimize him a little bit um the security unit close now again this is because of my need uh our nephew the same thing right because sometimes i'm just a mix up words in english very often um anyway but i believe this is the same thing the funny thing is um he likes glowing stuff like i said i created this uh the weapon here quickly in another scene um and uh, so i thought hey let's use it for here because it's funny it's funny because you know if you take a close look at the security bot, bot you will understand that he has no arms that's the reason why the weapon is just you know lying next to him I think that's the best thing in the world. This is such a great joke. I can, with this joke alone, I can make money. Can sell this joke to any everybody. What the heck is that? Huh? Ah, this thing here. Yeah, this is not finished yet. Anyway, so um, yeah, then I made some some chests. Um, this is uh, the earlier version, and. Um, but before we talk about a chest, what I did first, barrels. I tried, uh, again, the, used here the bump uh, effect modifier. I'm going to go into the, you see, I tr what I tried to do is uh, creating a barrel and then practicing mm, baking textures on other stuff, you know, high poly or low poly, uh, and especially the, the, the bump effect. This is something, I mean, I get the idea, I can do it in some ways, I cannot do it very well. Um, so this is still, I need to practice this more because I do not feel that I have to control over the, the baking stuff. It's a weird concept. Baking textures is really, really weird to me at least. I mean, it's everything in Blender makes sense somewhere, but to understand those stuff on the way to understanding stuff, in my case at least i'm constantly confused about the stuff however um you know i'm step by step i am i'm getting a better understanding and slowly i understand slowly so every time a little bit more and you know some point at some point i, I think i'm gonna figure this out um also the the texture here is not baked uh, I always thought we have, in order to use a, uh, a bump effect or a texture, we need to bake it. But it's not true. We don't. We do not even need to bake that. It's uh, you have to know how, and you have to watch other uh, people's tutorial to understand that. And then you're gonna be confused still. You will try it, and you will produce something, but it's not what you hoped for. And you're gonna do this for a while and someday it makes click and you understand it a little bit better and then you think hey that's great uh, you know also those cubes here i use the bump effect you see it's not perfect because this one i tried to bake but i could produce the same result without baking it just creating it anyway so this is what i what i learned hello there this is our in case you haven't seen all the videos Oh man, of course we haven't seen all the videos. Anyway, uh, this is the our four-dimensional um, engine, uh, black uh, material. The, the no, not black material. Sorry, uh, the I almost said black matter, but that's just because of my English. Um, no black matter. No black. No, not black matter. What was it? Uh, dark matter dark matter so don't try to insult everybody this is really up to my to my english so you have to, to understand that uh, you know i also try to you know that's also the reason why i do those videos <clears throat> in the english language i want to get better at this and this is the only way i can i can i can uh, learn stuff by practicing it's only practice which makes me better uh, theory is not working for me it's the practice Anyway, so that's the reason why I mix up so many words. Next thing is, um, we covered this, this, yeah, different versions of the barrel you see, um, and uh, I made them a little bit glow, uh, which is not that hard to do, but it, it's nice, so they, we have a radioactive barrel, 
Um, now we're gonna go into the uh, go into this. Uh, yeah, this is the box I like. This is the storage uh, chest if you want, and we can actually uh, change the the thing. You know, box I wanted to create to create just a chest is really not a big deal. But to create a chest so that it's thick from the outside and from the inside, well, let's just say I needed a day for that. Uh, because it's it, sometimes you do stuff in Blender, you create a, a spaceship and you think, well, I can do it. And then you think, let's make a box. And you think it's uh, it's done in no time. But uh, you are mistaken. It's, you know, it's, it's comp more complicated than as, as you may think. Um, especially, you know, if you want to animate that uh, later on. So because if you go take a closer look, so that those are two parts. I just cut them out uh, at some point. Anyway, so you need to change the origin of the thing to, 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 to make it to, to produce this kind of thing. And then you see it's not really connected to the other thing. It just looks like that, which is good enough for my purpose uh, if you want to 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 have a connection between those guys and th that they react to each other i think maybe uh we need um then maybe we need like uh, bones to animate that uh, so animation bones to have an, an impact on those stuff but this is only when you want to go extremely detailed on stuff which is also a thing you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because you, if you want to make everything perfectly, I mean, then it's you're gonna <laughs> no way, no, no way you're gonna be so frustrated after a while, you know. But if you just like creating one object very detailed, well, that's your thing, then do it, it's nothing wrong with that. But um, for me, I would like to animate my stuff later on, so I try to learn being um you know make it look nice and, and believable but uh, with a main focus on performance and maybe someday i can use this uh, uh, in uh, and, and in a game engine like unreal i took a look at the at unreal uh, just a half hour uh, overall something i would like to to you know games maybe someday maybe first i would like to focus on the animation stuff at least here want to learn blender want to learn how to do those stuff want to understand uh, creating those stuff and uh, then we'll see okay the box uh, i'm gonna unhide those stuff here this one if you just wonder because i hit, hit this here um this is just an idea i thought it looks weird Sometimes, you know, let's call this happy accidents like Bob Ross. Um, and uh, it, you know, sometimes things happen. Actually, it happens a lot. Uh, I keep saying this when you create stuff. I believe, I'm sure, no, I don't believe, I know what happens is whoever you are, if you are an artist, a painter, a musician, a filmmaker, it doesn't matter. You do not have completely control over your work. You're always going to be influenced. As I said, I wrote a comment uh, to Gabriel uh, yesterday, but I think that's what it is. Not, I, no, that this is what it is. You're going to be influenced and, and happy accidents happen all the time. And um, so it means whatever you produce, only a certain um, uh, part of your work is made by you. And let's say, I believe, actually, I think 30% is your work and 70% uh, is probably things you didn't expect it. Uh, a lot of accidents influenced by other people, by other people's opinion uh, and such. So be humble if you are, I think you are a great artist. You are not. You are an artist. That's it. You know, so because you can be proud of your work, but don't think you are special because it's a lot of, um, you know, other people's work too, in terms of, you know, in my case, 
without Blender, I couldn't do it. So somebody created Blender and I can do uh, work with that. You know, this is what I mean. So always be humble about that. Or you can be proud, but don't be an asshole about this. Don't think you're special because you are not. Okay. Um, yeah, just want to say that. <laughs> it bothers me when people think they are. No, this is really something I figured out. Anyway, um, so if you are proud and you are uh, doing great work, that's great. And you can be happy about this. Um, but do not think of you being better. Although everybody thinks that way, I get this because I do the same thing, but uh, just be aware of that, that this is nonsense. I repeat myself because sometimes uh, I want to make sure I express myself well. Let's go ahead, Mr. Security Bot. Thank you very much. So, um, then we have here, this is the, the, the Photoshop thing of mine uh, and so on. I'm also very proud of my stuff, don't get me wrong, but uh, at the same time, um, I want to produce good work. Maybe someday I can do with it something, you know, that is would be my my goal. Right now I'm, um, I'm a dreamer, um, not sure where this is leading me. Um, and it's a little bit silly, but at the same time, I love it. I love it so extremely, and 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 I, I found something I'm maybe good at, and uh, or I'm good at, but uh, people do do not really know what I'm doing, and uh, I get this because I don't really know what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, I want to keep working, getting better, and maybe someday it pays off. If not, well, whatever. You can only try, but this I like personally a lot. It reminds me, I put this, uh, I, you know, I made a screenshot with Blender, uh, put this into the Photoshop, changed uh, certain uh, filters, uh, and then I, I made the background a little bit, uh, you know, the Photoshop stuff. And it reminds me a little bit of um, 90s uh, Japanese uh, Transformer movies from how it looks, the white uh, and the colors, you know. I like it uh, for this reason very much. Yeah, uh, I talked about this a little bit. Um, oh, this is, you know, this is actually a drawing when I try to draw a draw. Um, and, in, you know, like the creative stuff I do since three years. So I try from time to time to draw some stuff. I'm not very good at this, but combined with Photoshop and the other stuff, it becomes something uh, and I need to work a lot at those stuff then it works so the inside here looks also better um took away this thing here next thing you're gonna love if you're still there well you are lucky because you're gonna you know you're gonna see the best <laughs> we have a kitchen i created this kitchen here this is like a, a one object thing uh well i lied to you almost a one object so the, the those things separate uh, and the kitchen is basically one object here again i experimented with the with, with texturing um it is right now gray here but i i really have have a kitchen version where i what i did basically i gave everything i mean sorry i forgot the most important thing this is chef cook um don't know it hasn't a name yet uh chef cook and he uh obviously oh yeah he um has those barrels you know he cooks with radioactive stuff and here is an oven too before we talk about the kitchen i almost forgot the most important thing when i talked to you at, uh, when i talked with you about the bump effect being still random which is you know good because it boosts your Im imagination it shows you things you haven't expected so you experiment with um, a little bit of randomness uh, while texturing that's good but if we take a look at the the ground you see for example you see there is a, a round cycle where the barrel are uh, and this is the only place in the ship where i have the complete control over the bump effect so it might doesn't make much sense where the stuff is but where uh, to you but but i was completely in full control over where those lines were 
the, 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 the bump effect is visible and where not. So only the ground of the kitchen is com completely in control of mine. So what I basically did is just um, to create this bump effect, I took out I took out um, like this. I took out, I uh, selected those areas and then I uh, shift D dupl uh, duplicated those areas and copied this guy's, uh, the, the ground into another blender scene. And in the, in the other blender scene, I um, created some details. Uh, I modeled some details uh, somehow on the ground, somehow. And then I took the, uh, created the, the bump render. So I created a, a render with, with those details and then I used uh, this texture and then put it on top of the aligned the, the bump texture, texture I created with the ground in the kitchen. And this was the very first time that I had control over this. It's not perfect, but it's the very, very first time I, I, I uh, you know, had the, the completely, the complete control over the bump effect it might be a, a minor thing to you but to me it was like oh that feels great because it gives you you see the potential when something like this happens and then you see you know more options where where to use those stuff are popping up and so on and then you forget those stuff again <laughs> because there is so much to learn um which is good that i have it here in the ship so it constantly reminds me on that you know yeah we have some uh things this actually you know speaking of inspiration again did i mention that actually so let's go back that the oh, no, no not this way uh wanna fly so speaking of inspiration i played those chest is uh, this chest here for example is inspired i was playing quake 4 um and i saw the chests and i in those old games you can see how they use bump effect very efficiently and to me, it's very interesting to play these old games. Um, first, I like them just, and the second reason is um, you because the graphics, the old graphic is so simple. You can see where they kind of um, cheated, you know, to to make they try to have a good performance because it, uh, those are video games, uh, and to make it look nice. And you understand when you play those old games that although everything you know details matter but only if you if you take a long look at, at one place then detail, detail matters um, if it's an animation or something details do not matter as much the same thing with the paintings by you know let's say Bob Ross when he talks about when stuff is in the background like trees in the background do not need many details because we simply do not pay attention to that next thing is on on youtube itself if you watch a youtube video we, youtube decreases the, the video quality actually drastically but it focuses um on the video quality is so optimized that the the sent of the video is always a little bit better or at least this is what I've heard don't take this for granted but I think basically where we look it has to look good so everything what is in the background doesn't you know uh, doesn't have to be so detailed which is good because it saves you some performance I mean nowadays the games are extremely polished and they look good in general, also in the details, I, I get this. Although, compared to the real world, still not. It always, you know, when I was uh, out for a walk and I, I, I uh, you know, looked at the nature, and I was never really a nature guy, but I, I, the older I get, the more I appreciate it. Um, and I was thinking, you know, how proud uh, the people are when they create like uh, computer games which look great but then when you look at the at, 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 at the let's use a flower is always a good example when you look at the flower real flower in detail you can zoom in and you will find so many details you cannot do this with any engine nowadays it takes you weeks to create the same kind of um, flower like in the real world because it the real world flower has a lot of details it's unbelievable if you if you take a closer look at this so 
again, we are a little bit humble, we do a great job, we as humans, but we are not, you know, really good at those stuff. Good at bolstering, good at showing off, that we can do very well. Anyway, um, where was I? I kind of lost track. Uh, anyway, so we have here obviously the kitchen. This is an inspired. Ah, here we go. Inspired by Doom, actually. It reminds me, although I haven't played Doom 3, Doom 3 we're talking about, there was a kitchen too, and I thought, ah, I like the kitchen. And um, haven't seen it for a long time, but I still remember uh, in Doom 3 you walked into, into a room, there was a TV somewhere like in this area, and, and yeah, there was a Doom stuff so obviously um you influence that's for sure uh yeah this was a window i replaced this with um uh but, but up i replaced that with uh, met metal this area here uh we need um well a landing feet um this shall become a landing feet i talked a little bit about this in uh kim 8 where the landing feet is coming out someday um, oh, this area is actually new. I like this. Uh, uh, this I said the German version thing. Neu is new. This area is the new area. Uh, we can look out, and then we have this guy here. The problem was when I created this guy, uh, it looked two-dimensional because the walls are extremely thin, and so I had to create, a, give it a little bit more. Dimension if you want dimension. So we have this thing here. Then Yeah, I think this is something I don't know what I want to do with that um, Yeah, when you have light like this That's on the one hand the Emission light is, is great, but you see the problem is here with emission at least in Eve render as soon as it's not visible the light effect is completely gone so in order to, to if you want to have like if you want to let's say you this shawl look like an engine or whatever like a space thing uh, you need actually a light source another light source uh, a real light or well, I mean a blender real light if you want so that uh, it affects uh, the the area here um, oh also I realized I think it might be interesting if you go into if you select that light I believe this one here um or maybe this one here ah you see uh i realized uh, i had some trouble so sometimes you know if i hide this light i'm gonna unhide this um the problem is if the spectral thing is completely turned on then it reflects everything but sometimes i just want to have it i don't want to have like a, a light source like um, completely reflecting everything. Sometimes I just want to have a dark room, but I want people to see the the, the, the room at least a little bit. So um, using another light source and just uh, you know decreasing this thing, I realized this while modeling the ship. You know makes just the room brighter, but it it's not really you don't see it like one light point which is great you know it just you, you see at least some you know some stuff because uh, i know that the, the difference between eve and and a cycle render is that this is not a realistic light reflection it's more like a game engine thing which to me is fine because i like it and you know realism yeah it's good but yeah um it's not everything to me at least uh good Let's keep going. So we can go this way. Um, and here is another console. This shall be the main warp or whatever this is. You know, the what is that? Uh, just just text, texture. Yeah, so the, the idea is that we have here a console and this is the control room. This is actually a, a window. You cannot see it very well. Maybe when we unwrap that. Yeah, so this is the control room where we just see if our engine works proper properly the idea is we're gonna you know uh, type some values in in here and controlling the the main uh, energy engine which is this one here 
Okay, let's go back into the inside of the ship. So we are here. Um, not sure what this room will become. Maybe a storage room where the barrels are. Maybe, I do not know, sleeping room for, for the robots. Let's go back. So this is the... Um, uh, what is the killer? I forgot the word killer. Mm, basement, uh, if you want. So, um, and now, you know, this is one way to go to the captain's uh, bridge or... Oops, hello. Yeah, great. Eh, wait a second, maybe, yeah, yeah. So, let's go back into the ship. So, this is actually the... Let's hide this here. So, turn this off. Okay, guys, this is the way to go to the captain's bridge. Usually, oh, I, I had like... Um, so I wonder where this is. Maybe I maybe change the complete. Yeah, this is my thumbnail, thumbnail thing. I may. No, it doesn't matter. There is actually somewhere a text. The uh, right side is bridge. Left side is um one zero. But it kind of bothers me. Where is the text? Uh, bridge. So bridge. Here we go. Um. So I modeled uh, the door a little bit uh, and that's the reason it disappeared good idea is um, just a little bit funny uh, again uh, stupid jokes here uh, we're gonna go into the bridge and the one zero one zero one zero is the robot language obviously okay well let's go upstairs so this is actually really really cool i like this this path a lot and uh, it took me a while so then here we can take a look outside you know animation is being played uh, and uh, here's our board computer you know that he's changing in this weird way i addressed this uh why i do not even know how i made it i mean to animate stuff it's not a big problem but how i did it that it um it just changes like in this step way which i like personally a lot because it looks like an old computer or like the old movies where the computer is changing the colors the computer terminal is changing some colors and i like it a lot but i don't really know how i did this um, um because i simply just changed um animated the direction where this is going from the left to the right side and i expect uh that it would just constantly you know go from up and down to the well i'm gonna show you this here quickly so this is how it it's you know this is the animation basically and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but here you know you see it's just changing stepwise and the only thing what what does it is because of the um depending on on I change the position of the uh, I don't know the rotation or something. It's one of those happy accidents. This is what I was talking about. I like it, um, and um, you know, there's certainly a ways. I, I get I, I, if I want to do this on purpose, I have some ideas on how to approach this. Uh, maybe just you know creating a little bit of an a uh, little uh, movie and just putting it inside would work too this is right now just a procedural procedural generated thing which i animated uh, i showed this actually in the other in, in kim 8 i'll show it here again so what it basically did is this one we can ignore uh, here we go this is what we should focus on only this the rest only this one here so uh, basically you see um, this is just a noise texture that we can ignore too it's just to make the the screen a little bit dirty not necessary for this animation but what is necessary is um, texture coordinates uh, goes into objects goes into the vector and then i believe one of those uh, locations are animated i think it's uh, i think it's x in our case um from, from the left to the right side that's it more i didn't do then you know this is the Voroni texture whatever this is called and then we have different colors and emission very simple animation for some reason it looks like it's it doesn't follow the the smooth direction in this case 
and this is cool you know again happy accident uh not my control but i like it what is this is what i mean when something like this happens the happy accident is not in your control but using the happy accident that's your decision so you know that's what i what i meant okay then we have here a seat and this i like too unfortunately we don't see much when we look out of the window if you would maybe change the the you know activate some outer planets why do we not see them ah because it's not that this one we need universe so let's activate it just for our purpose um, we see well Sternenstopp. this is stardust the german um so now when we look outside we actually and we hide this thing here maybe it's too much we see look at that you can see a planet isn't that not nice if you change the rotation of the sun we can maybe also huh what do you say that's what i meant maybe i'm gonna just create uh, an asmr video to boost this channel you know because obviously i i don't know what what i think people do not really uh, like i said people don't know what what i am actually doing because i know it because uh you know uh, family and stuff you know everybody is nice but they don't really know what the heck lucas is doing um but then i uh, and so i assume a lot of people for example my channel name is project lara that stands for um project uh, lucas animation render and art and uh, project kim is just um, every time when i do a new project i give it a random name so that i can find my files later easier um, but uh, it probably is very confusing new people probably don't even know what the heck am i doing here uh, but if i create maybe an asmr video like this where i just shut up and we just fly like you know through the universe which i love um, or let's say it helped me to fall asleep i watched a lot or there was a time when i watched almost uh, almost every night and every night I, but sometimes when i couldn't sleep i watched um, the, a good documentary um, journey through the universe was an or is an extremely well made uh, documentary about the universe first of all it's not having those those unnecessary super blasts you know where everything is exploding non-stop and such although this is also in the documentary it's presented to you in a more uh, informational good way so i like it a lot i do not like them more than uh, a lot of more than you know i think the, the documentaries are so full with music and, and explosions because they want to attract the attention of young people which i i don't think is needed in this very way because also young people can if they are interested focus on something doesn't have to explode every three seconds you know <laughs> anyway so maybe i'm just getting older it's probably just that um anyway speaking of you know you know what i think you know what i mean or not whatever i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm done almost uh, let's continue here so this is the the way we could go back and we see here a sun when i use um this in the background i should hide this one here because uh, we are not that fast anyway so let's here we you know you see there is no light source actually visible but we still see the room here that, that's what i meant this is what i realized uh, um, in this with this model here um because i was thinking what how the heck do i make it brighter do i have do i need a light everywhere the answer is no I just need a light somewhere near so this one for example and this I I don't want to have a reflection everywhere I just want to see sometimes the corridors without um, creating lights here and there because it needs performance right so I, I changed and this is how I figured this out I change values until the point something happens <laughs> and then I uh, see is this is this change good for me if so i'm gonna use it this is how i figure things out 
most of the time. Um, and if I do not figure it out, I'm Google it. I'm Googling it and then I watch a tutorial. Um, and that's how you do your stuff in, uh, with Blender, I guess. Anyway, so let's go back to the bridge so we can... Okay, if you remember, we came from this way here. So we, this is where we were coming from. And if you go again to this position, this is our terminal. Now we can go downstairs. And this is what I talked about. I had to make a, more corridors in order to not make them too steel. Yeah. And here we are in the kitchen room. And look at that. You know, I, I wanted to fix him a little bit. Yeah, I forgot to, to close him up. But you don't mind, right, robot? No, you are okay. Good guys, that's about it. Uh, a lot of blah blah, but maybe good for somebody. And uh, you see what I learned, and you see what I um, struggle with, and you know, it's a little bit of a blender and thoughts video. Thoughts of thoughts. Maybe also a blender thoughts slash thoughts video. Bye, guys.